Okay, so we've got double bed, um, which is memory foam mattress. It is like this thickness, um, but it's really good, like super comfortable. Um, literally probably more comfortable than my normal bed. Um, we've got um, lighting up here. This is all strip lighting under here, so you can just wear this on the toggles. We've got um, curtain to pull across over the bed, like when you're in, um, yeah, if you want to separate it or if the two of you. Um, and yeah, I've literally just sewn that, so it's a bit rough and ready, but I mean, it's functional. You could make a neater one if you wanted. Um, it's got a little whiteboardy court board thing. Um, that is a um hold for a full size guitar um if you don't play guitar obviously you can take that out there's no need to have it um and have whatever else on there there are some nails that i've put up along here again these could be taken out um just from where i've had like pictures and stuff hanging up that you've probably seen on the other um photos that i listed it with um and like there's a few nails and hooks from just where i've had pictures and things hanging up in the van um we've got <laughs> bench so that could easily be covered i just had like a load of cushions on top of it um so it's easy to get into um and you can see everything in there so got the separate leisure battery down here so that's all um wired up to the switchboard which we'll go through in a second um but this is absolutely massive like you can fit so much stuff in it um and then you've got um storage up here um which just normally kept like toiletries and everything um i've got a few dehumidifiers in all the cupboards at the minute while i've left it just so it's not getting too damp um and you've got a fire blanket um there's also a fire extinguisher which i'll show you in a second i've got yeah more storage under here um so i had like all my pots and pans everything under there and then same again on the other side, even bigger. Um, so literally, yeah, so much storage. Um, and then you've got a smoke detector. Um, and then you've got, yeah, a tiny hatch to go through to the front. So you can like pass through cups of tea or whatever. Um, this is magnetic for all your knives, which I know is a bit risque when you're driving, but it's such a strong magnet. Like I never had any problems with anything falling off. Um, and then this is just bungeed along here, but you could do it as a like proper shelf if you wanted to. Um, but that holds everything on of what you need. Um, got a sink here, um, which works by ooh, got wastewater tank and freshwater tank, um, and it just pumps it out of the freshwater and yeah, drains into the wastewater. So you can just um, empty that. It's really easy and like. I mean, I'm fine to carry a full one of those, and I'm like five foot seven, so <laughs> I'm sure it's all good. Um, and then, yeah, it just turns on, and it hasn't got any water in the minute, so it's not going to do it, but um, yeah, it comes out just like a normal tap, um, and lasts quite a while as long as you're careful with it. Um, it doesn't have hot water, so I tend to just, yeah, boil water on the hob, so it's got double gas ring hob, which is really easy to use. Um, and then massive gas canister, so it come with that as well. Oh, sorry. Um, and it's got uh, directions on which way to turn it off, so you make sure you're not leaving it on. Um, this is um, separate bleh, separate diesel canister for the diesel heater, um, so you can just fill that up at the petrol station. I mean, it lasts ages. Um, and then, yeah, the diesel heater runs off of that, which comes out of here that's fell down but it's all good Ooh. um so yeah that just pumps out and honestly it's so hot um it takes probably like 15 minutes to heat up the van um so that's that we've got um space you could put a compressor fridge in here at the minute it's just got a cool box which is electric but i never really plugged it in to be honest because i've been in the van in the winter so it's really cold anyway um so i didn't need to do any of that um everything's catched so it doesn't fall when you dry it in um we've got yeah some little drawers more storage um you've got the um battery pack that runs off of the ledge battery so you can like plug things in 
Um, I found in general that that drains the battery quite quickly. Um, so it's kind of you're easier to plug phones and stuff in off of the USB sockets in here, um, which la makes it last a lot longer. Um, so in terms of yeah, plugging things in, I would potentially recommend getting a separate leisure battery if you're wanting stuff like that, or um, electric hookup, kind of adding that in, just because, yeah, I think it'll save your battery quite a bit. We've got, um, yeah, cutlery drawer, a bit of a weird shape because it goes around the sink, but like, yeah, fits all your utensils in. Um, got some other cooking things here, which you're welcome to have, don't need that anymore. I've got the extractor fan, um, which you can adjust on the um, switch box to either like suck in air or blow out air, whatever you need to. Um, equally, I mean, you can just open, have the door open while you're cooking if needs be. Um, this is the shower rail. So I've got a shower curtain here um, and you just hook it up around this um, and then stand in this very lovely bucket, which I shall grab. Um, so, sorry, it's hot quality filming here for me. <laughs> um, oh, I'll show you this while I'm here. So we've got the garage space down here, which is massive. Um, the guy who bought the van off before said he used to fit two mountain bikes, two surfboards, and then all his belongings. I had, while we were traveling, like all of my Depop stock um, under here. So I had like, yeah boxes and boxes of clothes like you can fit so much stuff and you can get into it from inside the van which is really nice if it's raining um it's all rubber matted so yeah nothing slided around um, and you can get into it from the back as well um so that canister in there the water jug you can see that's the jug that i use to pump water from the um for the shower so if i just show you um So the shower, sorry, I'm trying to do this one handed. <laughs> so the shower's in here with all the attachments um, and you, yeah, basically you charge it up through the um, cigarette lighter in the front and then it kind of like, yeah, has all the different things. So it sucks it out of the water from in here and then comes out here is the shower you just kind of like press I don't even, sorry i don't remember i was literally had the film camera over that then so yeah plugs into the thing in the front to charge up to get the pump going this you put into the thing of water and it sucks up the water and then you just press that down to get the water to come out and you can yeah put the other attachments on um whatever you need to which is great um so you can use that yeah like with the rail and just either like dangle it over or you could put a hook up. Um, I tend to just shower outside because it was way easier. Um, but like, I mean, you can literally take it with you if you're going like hiking or whatever, you can charge it up and then yeah, take it, um, take it out with you. So also got the um, spare kind of stuff if you ever need to go and get petrol, um, big bit of tubing if you've ever needed to like transport water into the van and you don't want to move the canisters but i mean it's so easy to get the water tanks from under here out um i'd say it's better to just do that i've got a big extension lead oh yeah this is the bucket you stand in for the shower if you want to um all of that is has been waterproofed but yeah the kind of best thing to do is kind of yeah if you want to shower in the van stand in the bucket and then you can empty it out really easily um and then i've got all the engine oil and stuff as well which you can have um this toilet seat stand just for like if you um haven't got um like if you're not wanting to take loads of stuff with you but the van comes with a chemical toilet as well um which i haven't got in here at the minute but i'll add an extra picture to um the listing because i haven't done that yet um i haven't got the chemicals for that because i just didn't really end up using it but um yeah it's kind of got everything you need and then if you come out i'll try and show the view from the outside um i'm just trying to run it for a bit to charge the battery because it's been sat for a few days um and then just jump in here 
so yeah comes with the wheel lock um just for a bit of extra safety um you can see on the mileage there it's yeah 136 386 um and you've got no warning lights or anything like it's all great um cd player works um i've got a little aux plug in somewhere for this um so you can have bluetooth and stuff um the seats are kind of what you'd expect for a um like 16 year old van um but i have got material listed on the listing um that i bought to recover the seats and just never got around to it so if you want that material you're absolutely more than welcome um you've got like yeah cup holders glove box all that jazz um the hatch that i showed you from the inside um, and then you've got the the tunnel comes through here for the extractor fan just because um, it makes it a lot quieter so when you're in the van you can't really hear it at all which is great you've got all the lights up here um, I'm trying to think what else I can show you it's all carpeted on the bottom uh, it comes with two keys there's a massive load of storage in the doors as well like they're really deep um, the diesel heater is fitted under here and runs through to the back just in case you ever need to do anything with that um but yeah and then it's got the two little portal windows which are currently covered um so if you ever need like wanted to uncover them then you could um and then um yeah all of this is clad is great so it's like really warm we've got carbon monoxide um detector and thermometer on that as well um, this is your electric, so when you turn that one on, that puts these plugs on. Um, you've got lights. This needs to charge up a bit. I can't show you the... Because um, the van's been sat on the driveway for like two weeks, I need to just take it out for a bit just to charge up the leisure battery. And then all of this works. But I'll go through what's on it and then I'll do a separate video once it's been out. So I've got, yeah, the plug socket with the electronics. You've got lights, which turn on these main spotlight kind of things um the power socket which is the thing in the drawer that i showed you um that one says for the fridge at the minute but isn't actually connected to anything um and then the one that says lights is for the diesel heater so when you put that on normally this screen comes on um and it's so simple like you literally just turn the um on button on turn the temperature up and it will start ticking over um the heater um yeah if you want a video of that as well once the van is charged up i can absolutely do that um yeah all of these swizzle knob things run off separate um things and then yeah surface light there and you've also got um strip light in all around the cupboards um which comes from a knob down here as well um and then i'll just show you the back of the van as well um yeah all the doors cladded it has got a bit of a knack to shut in it but um yeah if you come and view then i can come and do that and that's absolutely fine so Yeah, zebra stickers at the back um, and a ladder going up to the roof so you can yeah hold two people on the roof which is great um, and then should I open that yeah so you can get into the back um, really easily and there's loads of spare carpet and stuff as well in there for like insulation things um, but yeah getting everything out is really simple um and this all shuts really easily which is great and um, that door's locked on um so yeah let me just 